Today I'm going to talk about something uh, or important curve that might show up in your board exam. Uh, it's called uh, ROC or as I call it ROC. It's like a rock when I try to understand it at the beginning. Uh, it stands for uh, Receiving Operative Characteristic Curve. This curve uh, has a few, uh, a few simple facts or let's say I would say it has three facts you need to know about this curve and uh, usually the question it asks you about the general concept it may con try to confuse you like coming up with the long clinical vignette about african-american who's uh has a history of congenital heart disease valve problem blah 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 i'm telling you colorectal cancer and he's taken insulin then he will ask you well what is the well of, of, of that point let's say if that point here moved from here from one to here to two what do you think will happen to the sensitivity or specificity this is what we'll, I will try to explain to you I want you to understand that specific tactics in that specific curve um, first of all the 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 raw curve it's a it's a relationship between the true positive rate and the false positive rate True positive rate means sens uh, sensitivity. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put S and only. Okay. Um, so as you know, sensitivity it's how many true positive, uh, how many uh, uh, um, uh, cases that I found they are truly 100%. They either have the they have the disease or or I 100% cured them with the specific exposure or or, or treatment. Now. False positive. False positive, as you know, that's you thought it's it's a true positive, but it's basically it's not a true positive. Um, you have to know that this equation. It's important. You 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 may have questions coming about it, and I've seen a few questions about it. Uh, false positive is equal one minus specificity. Okay. Or sometimes it's one represent 100%. Okay, this is 100%. This is important. So uh, this this uh, side of the uh, 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 of the x uh, axis here uh, represent false positive. False positive equate one minus specificity. So remember, it, it may the question may ask you. Oh, what is the specificity it may give you like the false positive in the question and try to confuse you and the only solution is by just uh, uh, subtracting uh, one out of, uh, of, uh, of um, uh, false po uh, positive rate so um, let's let's pick a point on this green curve let's say my uh, the true positive that I found um, they are here okay this is how much true positive. So if I will, uh, um, I'm sorry. Let's let's uh, fill a line. Let's uh, let's uh, put a line, uh, dotted line here, um, and we found that my uh, a true positive. Let's say I'm gonna put a uh, big different point so it would make more sense. Let's say uh, my point is here, and my true positive, seventy five percent. Okay. 75% my test give me always true positive but how much false positive I have when you when you drop a line on this axis it would give you probably 10% okay so this is this is the false positive rate okay now how much is is it specific right remember apply the equation this equation right here right here I'm highlighting in yellow false positive rate false positive rate I'm, I'm trying to pick a big different line false positive rate okay equal 1 minus the specificity here the false positive rate according to the example that I just gave was was 10 right 10 so put it 10 here equal 1 minus specificity 
how much you specifically have uh, by by the way this is 10 percent 10 percent so this is uh this should be uh should be uh like this okay or if you want to use uh, a non percentage value that should be 100 and this is 10. um when uh, when you move them when you move them to the other side sorry this is uh this is wrong 10 percent okay and this is 100 percent represent 100 okay um specificity would, would equate or will equate 1 minus 0 0.1 which equal um 0 0.9 okay this is how much this test is specific remember what is the definition of specificity specificity majorly it will tell you how much negative true negative you can find in the test so what do you think that test it finds 75 uh, true positive 75 and 90 percent of it true negative so this test can be like reliable right okay this is this is the rock curve now we cover that part okay we cover that part let's talk about different uh, um, different uh, point here um, we just explained that sensitivity if it would he it would be here 75 and uh, the your false positive rate and that percentage your specificity will be high now on that premise more your sensitivity or true positive or true positive how much a true positive increases here and if you if you drop a, a line here if it's, uh, if it's increased more it will increase that's mean your sensitivity will increase the true positive will increase what would happen do you think to the false positive rate just try to imagine I'm putting I'm falling or dropping an axis on this point what is the false what happened to the false positive rate increased or decreased of course it decreased so here it's it's lowered now the conclusion is more sensitivity more true positive will increase the uh, the false positive rate will decrease means you're gonna find more true positive more true positive in your test true positive in your test more the uh, uh, that's mean your false positive rate will decrease try to apply this concept on the equation here your false positive your false positive now it's five and instead uh, of of uh, of ten percent okay what would happen to to your your specificity would it increase or decrease let's try to to apply it okay with numbers now we all we will try to use numbers now it was it was uh, it was one per uh, ten percent now it's five percent okay the equation it's a uh, hundred percent minus specificity what does specificity stand for how many true neg negative in my test okay I'm sorry true negative true negative how many true negative in my test okay so five percent applied specificity equal 100 percent minus five percent which equ equate 95 percent okay so your specificity is 95 percent 95 percent this is your specificity what does specificity stand for it's how many true negative i can find so so the conclusion is if my sensitivity will increase if my sensitivity will increase here what will happen to to your specificity your specificity in this equation if you apply it on this equation okay i'm gonna which is 100 minus specificity what will happen to your specificity okay will increase now if if i will show you something on the on the on the axis uh, um this is the false positive rate okay which equate as we said 100 which is this 
axis, this is represent 100, okay, minus, uh, minus specificity. So th how much left is the false positive rate? This is represent the specificity, okay? This represents specificity. This all represents specificity. So logically, more this point will push to here, more this this axis will increase. Okay, this axis will increase. It's it's a it's a logical conclusion you can base on the drawing of the of the axis. Okay, so uh, you need to remember uh, this two points. They are very important. Probably they would ask you what would happen to the sensitivity, what would happen to the specificity. Okay. Um, so uh, in in conclusion, if the curve shifted to the right or to this direction, uh, your sensitivity will increase, your specificity will increase. I mean, your your test is getting really really ideal. It means that you're gonna find too much true positive, too much true positive. You will have and too much true negative i'm sorry true negative there's no uh, equal true negative this increase this will increase right so your 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 test is getting really really good result you can rely on it now what is an ideal look i'm i'm using these because these are term can be used uh they may ask you uh they would give you a question talking too much about this patient has so and so then it will ask you what it mean or how would you know you have an ideal test okay and one of the option would say well um, um, one of the option uh, say well when you will have the specificity is very low or when you have the specificity is very low and uh, sensitivity is very low or you will have the sensitivity uh, specificity is very high and the sensitivity is very high okay what, the, what would be the answer? Of course, this one. Based on that curve, remember, more the specificity or more the sensitivity increase, your uh, uh, specificity in, uh, uh, increase. In other words, more true positive I have here, more true negative I will have here. Okay? Uh, now, that's we cover this two point. Now, uh, um, accuracy, it's a... Uh, it's basically the I'm gonna erase all of that accuracy it's the area it's the area below the curve okay it's the area below the curve so if that area increases that's mean my test it's more accurate means my my true positive are too much means that the the people who I excluded uh, um, and they were true negative uh, they were true negative and my specificity high and my sensitivity is high so in in other words accuracy is the area accuracy accuracy it's the area accuracy see is the area below the curve okay more that curve gets obese and fatty more your test is inaccurate that's it okay so what is an ideal uh, rock curve well when you have it 100 percent uh 100 percent of that your curve okay and you have your specific or sensitivity i'm sorry it's 100 which is up to here and your false positive rate is zero it is zero okay so you will have you will have your curve is like this looks like this okay when it's like this you, how, how many you think how many you would say uh, you would have true negative remember the equation false positive rate false I'm sorry false positive rate equal equal 100 minus specificity so how much do you think you have uh, specific if you apply this 0 100 minus specificity means your specificity 100 
Well, this is this is an ideal situation. Probably it's unrealistic, but this is when you will have an ideal uh, um, uh, test. I hope that will help you. Uh, maybe the last thing I need to tell you about that you can uh, draw your box, uh, your uh, rock rock box, like this. Okay. This is your rock box. Here will be the true positive, i.e your sensitivity and here will be your uh, true negative i.e. your specificity which is equal uh, uh, 100 minus false positive rate okay and here you can you can say here is specificity as well okay um, so uh, this this axis will be your specificity and this axis uh, will be your false positive rate and usually they draw it in that I'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna correct that so it won't be false positive rate shoot false positive rate uh, uh, so if uh, this numbers well the last thing I want to just say that um, uh, the false positive, the false positive uh, uh, values on this axis will be always uh, decremental. Always they going in the, um, um, uh, or I'm sorry, it's uh, incremental here. So it's will they would start from zero to one to one hundred. Okay, and this uh, um, the sensitivity or true positive as well. It's incremental from zero to one hundred. Okay. You may need to uh, uh, remember that, so it would be easier for you to solve the questions. But specificity or true negative will be always uh, uh, and decremental. Always, uh, this side will be the, the highest, and uh, uh, here will be the zero. So um, yeah, um, just in case, like um, let's say if you have a curve like that, and uh, uh, you uh, you have the sensitivity and you have the false positive, so you would know how much the true negative just by by dropping a line. So yeah, so here it will be. Let's say um, let's say here it's 80, and here is 20, and here it would be 80 as well. So that's that's it for uh, for uh, the the rock curve. I hope that would uh, wrap up things for you. If you have a question uh, on that regard, um, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, and I will try to explain it for you. Thank you for watching.